Elon Musk finally breaks his silence. In a shocking turn of events, Elon Musk, the company's owner, found that a staggering 58% of respondents to a poll he conducted on Twitter want him to step down as CEO of the microblogging site, which is currently dealing with a number of problems like blocking journalists and other social media sites while Tesla's stock is plummeting. His position as Twitter CEO is only supported by 43% of his followers, which has caused him a variety of issues. Users were asked in a poll by Musk whether they thought he should step down as CEO of Twitter. Musk also promised to follow the findings of the poll. Should I step down as head of Twitter? I will abide by the results of this poll. The Tesla CEO remark. A user commented, Yep, he already has the new CEO picked out. Elon will retire as chairman of the board and Twitter. To this, Musk replied, No one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive. There is no successor. For the first time since more than 10 million users decided to support his resignations as Twitter CEO, Elon Musk stated that only paid Twitter blue customers will be able to participate in future posts pertaining to public policy. Musk polled Twitter users about whether they thought he should leave his position as CEO as he promised to follow the findings of the poll. 57.5% to 58% of those who responded to the survey on Monday said he should resign. Musk, who frequently uses the platform, did not tweet immediately following the poll. His quiet was finally broken when he said, Interesting, in response to several allegations that the poll's findings were tainted by phony accounts, replying to another user's suggestion that blue subscribers should be the only ones that can vote in policy-related polls. Musk said, Good point, Twitter will make that change. Anyone can purchase a blue tick verified symbol on their account using the Twitter blue subscription service, which costs money. No one can force Musk out of the privately held firm because he owns a majority of it. But over the past several days, he's made a number of perplexing moves that have even some of his closest supporters breaking off their support. Following the prior week's move to block an account that tracked the locations of his private jet, numerous critical journalists who had written about the ban were suspended. In turn, this caused a departure of several active users to other social networks namely its decentralized rival, Mastodon, whose own account was suspended for publishing a link to the Jet Tracker's account on the competing site. Musk replied on Sunday by outlawing all links to other social media sites, including Mastodon, Instagram, Facebook, as well as more obscure ones like Noster, which Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, used and Linktree, a homepage builder that influencers prefer. After a Twitter poll from the Twitter safety account, in which Musk stated, that the restrictions should be lifted, it was lifted at the end of the day. Going forward, there will be a vote for major policy changes. My apologies won't happen again. Musk has a history of using Twitter posts to confirm important decisions. In 2021, he sold a tenth of his Tesla stock following one poll. Last month, he reinstated Donald Trump's account following another poll. And after a third poll, he reinstated a number of suspended accounts. Musk tweeted following the Trump survey, Fox Populi, Fox Day. In many instances, he has appeared to have already made up his mind before posting. For instance, he had already announced the sale of his Tesla stock before he even put it to a vote. And his plan to reinstate Trump has been discussed before he even purchased Twitter. Long before the results of the Twitter poll were made public, the possibility of re-signing as CEO had already been floated. He stated to a Delaware judge on November 16 that he intended to work less at Twitter and find somebody else to operate Twitter over time. Even last month, Musk had stated that he did not want to be the CEO of any firm, whether it will be Tesla or Twitter. He stated he did not want to continue as CEO of Twitter, which he acquired in October during testimony at a trial in the US where he was defending his contentious salary remunerations package at Tesla. In addition, Musk wants to attract more Twitter investors at the original $54.2 per share price which was the price at which he paid $44 billion to acquire the business. A total of $39 billion worth of Tesla shares have been sold by Musk since November 2021. The stock sale occurs at a time when Tesla shareholders have expressed worries over Musk's $44 billion purchase of Twitter, claiming that his constant involvement with the microblogging platform is detrimental to Tesla. Musk would still have the last say on important decisions as the owner of Twitter, despite it being unknown who would succeed him if he does step away, according to a number of observers. So, whether he goes or not, or whoever comes after him, all actually depends on Musk 